So Bo Bellini, yes, you may not remember that name, former legendary defensive coordinator for L the LSU Tigers, now, the past few years, head coach of the Nebraska Cornhuskers, has come in the news. No, not because he's great, he ain't Tom Osborne, because he ripped the fans. Usually I'd say this is a dumb story, this is a stupid story, let's move on from it. But you know what, we give players, athletes, crap all the time for being stupid and dumb. You gotta give coaches credit for being stupid and dumb. And right here, he's being stupid and dumb. First of all, after a loss, he rails against the fans. Why do, why do players and coaches do that? I understand it must suck to be a Marlin and play to an empty stadium. But you're still playing the game you know and you love. Okay? I don't care if there's fans there. I don't care if there's fans not there. Who gives a damn? It means nothing. Go play your game. So if you lose Ohio State, B Coach Pellini, it ain't the fans' fault. They can boo. I boo. I'm sorry. When you watch a crappy movie, you get up and you leave. If you watch a crappy game, you should boo. Now, in the first half, okay. But if your team's playing like garbage, it ain't the fans' fault. I'm sorry. It's your fault. All right? Your fault. Don't go and rant and rave about the fans. Should he keep his job? No. If he's ranting and raving about the fans, he ain't doing a good job. You need to take onus about it. Look at Mike Tomlin. Team play bad. He didn't care about the fans. Talk about himself. So we need to get better. That's it. And Nebraska ain't better. You had an 18-point lead and lost by 20. How the hell do you do that? How do you go from having an 18-point lead near half to losing by 20 at home? That's it. It ain't the fans. It's you, Coach Bellini. This is the Lube Tube.